What? Done. Oh, done. Okay. <laughs> I, didn't hear, I didn't hear you. That was such a such a short expression of stuff. Um, so yeah, we'll give it. Let's give it a couple minutes. See if anyone else comes. I'm bringing up the growth, maturity, and decline working group. We have issues opened. Um, a couple new pull requests. Kevin sharing the Matt, do you have a snow day today as well? Yes. Yeah, we do. It's, we're supposed um, to get eight to twelve inches on Saturday. We we don't even have snow or ice or anything. The school <laughs> district the school district like crapped its pants and called school way too early last night. And I've been bitching about it on social media all day because it just throws my whole flow when the kids aren't in school. It certainly does. So, we, only, we had five inches. Certainly, we had know. nothing. It's ridiculous. It is oh, so ridiculous. I'm, Kate is like, you have to stop complaining about it on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that is some letters down there. Yeah, you know, son. I'm Alberto. But, oh, okay, there we go, Alberto. Yeah, I so always, like, funny. Yeah. Yeah, like, I always have the, the same problem, so I need to change the name, and it takes right. some time to get a date. No, no, it's okay. As I, at first, I saw you pop up with all those letters, and I'm like, wow, I don't know how to pronounce it. Super helpful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, so Jesus may be late or unable to join us today because he has a faculty thing going on. Um, yep. So just going to carry on with our ordinary procession of going through open issues um, and then open pull requests for open issues. We have um, number 89, which um, seems to be um, somebody's getting a 404 error trying to access the risk metrics. Is that the I'm sorry, the value on risk metrics, but um, we can't, we can't replicate it. I think we need to ask that person for a um, URL. I think, didn't Kevin, didn't you just send a note? Kevin did. Um, oh yeah, he said, yeah, Kevin said URL. So I think we're good to go. Yeah. That's exactly what Kevin said. Good job, Kevin. Um, and then uh, there's an update read me from the weekly call a week ago. We discussed this on the call last time. Uh, a week ago, so like eight days ago, we discussed it on the general call, and then seven days ago, we discussed it on this call. Uh, that issue is still open and unaddressed, but will be. Um, and then I have, okay, this, then we just have the Google Summer of Code ideas, which I don't think we need to do anything with until we hear about Google Summer of Code. Exactly. Um, and we have a couple, one by K, a couple K Fogel bugs that we're waiting for his response on still, I believe. Let me just, yep. Okay. Yep. So he's, he's pinged us back and indicated that he will get to it on both issues uh, 61 and 48, which leaves 50 community managers, my perpetually unfinished, that, that's almost done, but not done. And refine the code development focus area number 44. I can't remember what the status of this one is. Okay, so there are pull requests for a specific metric on pull request 72. So let's see if pull request 72 is okay. I'm gonna, for refining the code development focus area, I think we're done here, but I can't remember why we're leaving it open. So I'm going to leave it open. I'm just going to make a comment. We merged all the related pull requests. So I am not sure. We can close this. I think so.
And then maybe I'll assign Jesus just to, I, I basically, I just don't want to close it without checking with Jesus because he opened it. Okay. Um, I, I, I'm sure we've left it open for a reason. We just didn't put it in the comments what that reason is. And so um, I just made a comment. Um, that moves us over to pull requests. Um, so we have a three, four new ones. Well, there a lot of them are just from me. Two of them are from you. Two of them are from Jesus. Um, so I think we usually talk them through in the from the top to bottom. So I'll just start with number ninety-one. Sure. Um, so it's the first iteration of a use case to characterize maintainer. Uh, I think maintainership position is what he means. I'm just going to edit the title. Okay. Maintainership position. Um, and this is the first iteration, so there's no metrics yet. Um, one commit which I'm looking at right now. So this is some maintainership position is, I mean, I think this might be worth discussing. It's, it's, um, I think it's, it's a good, start at the pull request, we should probably have some folks review it. Um, it's something that comes up quite a lot in, in um, it's particularly come up lately in the risk discussions that I've been in. There are cases in the kernel, for example, where maintainers are expected to follow certain customs, like making sure there's external review on, okay. on their code and they don't. Uh, and in some cases, copyright and patent ownership issues have come up because people have pressed things into the kernel uh, without the required external review in a maintainership role. So I think, I think if I'm reading this, what Jesus's proposal here is trying to tease out is who are maintainers, um, who are developers, and are there ways that we can presumably ascertain maintainership position? Um, like, like, for example, the vote on the steering committee in his description, that seems to be, it seems to be more of a custom in many projects than a, a discernible project position. Um, Say that again? So it's more of a, I think it's, so many, some roles like committer, we can determine from behavior in, in the repository itself. Mm -hmm. The role of maintainer, I don't think there is a git so in the repository, in a Git repository, I don't think, and someone can correct me, maybe Alberto, if I'm wrong, but I don't think there is a way that maintainer is represented in the metadata of a repository. I think it's a, a custom. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes more sense to me. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I guess even though I turned off my phone, my iPad is able to beep. <laughs> Um, so, um, I think we just think if we were, so I don't have any further comments on this one. I was just going over it as, okay. as I got it, I guess we should maybe make sure that we request some reviews, um, from people. That's easy enough to put in. Yeah. I was thinking, um, uh, I'm going to ask, since Kate and I were discussing this recently, I'll ask That'd be good. her review. Um, maybe your review, Matt. Sure. On this one, because I think, I think this really speaks to some of the open source customs that you and Kate have spent more time talking about than, than I have, trying to diversify the number of people reviewing use cases. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, That's why I thought maybe not even me, but... Oh. That's true. I mean, I've been reviewing a lot of the use cases in this working group, so 
Um, and I probably will throw one in as well, but. Okay. I mean, I can, I'm happy to take a look at it, but maybe just down the road if we can. Yeah. So code development, refining goals is the next one. That's pull request number 90. Um, and I'm just trying to bring up that file. Code changes. And I'm just, I'm just scrolling through the changes. Which one are you looking at? Uh, number 90. Um, okay. It's code development, refining goals. Um, refining some of the goals in the focus area by specifying questions and metrics for them. Okay. Fixing names and definitions in those that were already in the focus area. Looks like he's just kind of adding. So, yeah. I think... I see. Okay. I mean, I think here again, I'm maybe I'm just looking through it and I'm seeing these just adding, adding metrics. The questions that come to mind for me are just to check that the metrics that we're adding have corresponding detailed specifications. Um, and if they don't, then we should create them. And I think given the metrics release work that we're trying to do, yeah. we want to make sure that any changes to the names of metrics that we Institute in this repository get propagated to the metrics repository. Yeah, so I, I had suggested just posting an issue that in the metrics repository to me that just says, hey, we've made some changes in the code development focus area. Okay. Can you double check things? That's it. Okay. Um, so after we get this one reviewed, then we'll yeah. do that. Yep. Um, I'll request. Looks like Georg was suggested by the algorithms at GitHub as a reviewer for this pull That's request. Funny. I will. I will go with the algorithms um, on that, and then maybe ask Alberto if you don't mind reviewing. Maybe that'd be great. Armstrong. I don't have Ar Armstrong. What's your GitHub ID? Sorry, my GitHub ID. Yeah. Okay, let me text it now to you. Okay. There may not, you may not, I'm not sure how it works to. It's like F-O-U-N. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's, that's yeah, it's F-O-U-N-Z-J-M, Matt got it. So I don't, so it doesn't allow me to request you for a review, so I don't know if that means you have to be, does that mean Armstrong is not like a member of the organization? No, you should be able to request anybody, shouldn't you? I thought so. Um, but I'm putting in GitHub ID and it's not it's not letting it take. So I don't know what that means. Maybe I have to add you as an external collaborator or something. That's weird. Yeah, for, for a long time, I wasn't available as either. So I don't know if that ever got fixed, but yeah, there was something weird um, going on with that. All right. So I've, um, I've requested that, that Armstrong be a collaborator on this repository. Okay. Um, which that might be the, that might be the, the trick. Um, I don't know though. Yeah, it doesn't let me add you, but we can add you as soon as we can figure out how to do that, Armstrong. Okay. 
take a look at your email. I got, and, um, I got the invitation. I accepted it. Okay. Yeah, I've seen the invitation. Okay. Well, there you go. The algorithms have spoken, and you're now in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, probably have to do the same thing for you, Kevin. Um, so that deals with 90 and 91 discussion wise, uh, update issue resolution. So these are two, there's two from you, Matt. I don't mm -hmm. know if you want to give us some context on what these are. Yeah. All that they are is when I was putting together the, um, metrics page, the table, mm -hmm. I basically just found some errors. Oh. errors in your in your either your tables so they'd be things like um if you take yeah. a look at update issue resolution yeah i'm looking first response to issue duration so basically if you in your table it used to be called first response to issue duration yeah and then you click on it and the detail page was called issue response rate or something like that uh, you okay. see what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. And that's so just getting getting you so... to be so the name in the table is the same as the title on the detail page. That's all. Uh. Yep. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. That... We were in the we were in the process of uh, reconciling everything. Reconciling everything, but we hadn't uh, moved to the detail pages yet because. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, and I, I, I was talking about completely. I had tried to. I tried pages. Yeah, yeah, I tried to fix the the issue. I tried to fix the titles when I went through on that pull request a couple of weeks ago. You just missed someone. Yeah, 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 clearly. Um, so, and I think I think the um, issue resolution one, uh, Jesus, I, th I think those might be two separate metrics. Um, totally, totally, you, and you can dismiss this pull request if you. No, I don't think we need some to. other way. I don't, I don't think you need to dismiss it. I, um, it was mostly just to be like a, a, um, a, a kick. Is the only, is that the only, this right where, okay. So, issue, res so hey, you're suggesting issue response rate. Jesus is suggesting issue response time. I think issue response time makes it so that it is one metric. Um, do you mind if I just? I don't mind at all. Yeah, I, just, I just, let's call it issue response time. And can you just resend the pull request? Um, yeah, why don't you just modify it in here? Can I modify? Can I modify a pull request that you've made? Um, I don't know. I so let me see. You're a maintainer. You should be able to. Okay, well, that's pretty. That's a lot of power. All right, I'm going to change it to time. And I guess the name of the, if we call it issue response time, then there's one file, you're changing the, there's, it says there's only one file changed. Well, I probably just picked a name, whether it's in the detail page or in the, Okay. In the table, and I'm just like, whatever, I'll just pick one. So they're aligned. I like had no preference. <laughs> to... Okay. All right. So I'm going to say, um, so then we have to, if, if, um, if you could change the, if, if you could change the page that it, the title on the page it points to to issue response time. Sure. Uh, Yeah, I mean, why don't you just close this pull request and just go in and change it, <laughs> like directly? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I can I can do that, but uh, oh yeah, I, could, I didn't. I, maybe I'll post I could, these issues. You know I, I could I could actually merge this. Actually, okay, I see. This I'm making it. I can merge this and then fix it, right? Yeah, because yeah. you can just fix it directly. Maybe I'll post these as issues when I see them. Because I just, I, all I wanted to do is draw your attention that there was a. No, no the, the pull request is fine. I'm just, it's the, my first time trying to process 
a minor update like this. Okay. Uh, and then knowing where knowing where things are. And then I'm going to call it issue response time. Yeah, see, I mean, I see your update to it. And I'm calling it per pull request. Okay. Commit changes. All right. So that one's closed. I actually updated the page. Cool. And then the uh, update community growth. I assume this is similar. Yeah, exactly. Okay, this one, it looks like, um, I think I want Jesus just to elaborate on what his comment is before I deal with this one. Okay. It's a little more involved. Um, because I think there's a nuance to the concept of open or to the construct of open that he's getting at. Okay. Then I may not, it may not be fully expressed in the text or I may misinterpret it. So, um, okay. Uh, I'll just say same issue. Just, I'm just trying to raise awareness that. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, I'm totally okay with that. I just don't want to deal with it without fully understanding what Jesus's comment means. So, and then the community manager use case, if I would fix that, there's a couple things that Jesus has asked me to change. So I need to fix okay. that. That remains open. Um, okay. So those are issues and pull requests, our standard uh, agenda items. Are there other, other things to discuss? There's another multi, is that Jesus appearing or Alberto yeah. reappearing? Oh, Jesus, hey. I'm sorry yeah. for being so late. No worries. Um, actually, you can maybe help us with pull request um, update community growth. We're able to yeah. close one of Matt's pull requests, but I just, I wasn't sure if there was action required on pull request 85 based on your comment. 85, let me check. Yeah. Or I wasn't sure if there was something we should do or change in it. Uh, just a quick comment about this uh, uh, minor change. Yeah. Maybe the, the best way to proceed here mm -hmm. will be remove open from the title of the, the metric. Because in fact, uh, new contributors add all the information you, you need to have to understand the metric. This is new contributors could be enough. So we can have all the discussion about open up and open it. That is, yeah. So yeah, in, in, in number 85, my, my only comment is about the difference between open and open. But you uh, know that we are not uh, English speaking people. So uh, I'm not completely sure, but uh, as far as I understand, if you hear something like open issues, uh, the mind quite quickly goes to issues that are open right now. While the idea is issues that were opened during this period, which is different. And that, that, that was my comment. Yeah, the, what, I, I understand your comment because Ray Pike said exactly the same in another discussion about this. But the thing here is that maybe we don't need to, to put the word open because we are adding new contributors at the end. So issues new contributors maybe is uh, all what we need here to name the, the metric right. and we can avoid the discussion. Yeah, that's, that's an idea too. So you, you, what you mean is basically avoid using open or opened and just call it issues no contributors. Yeah. Because if you read the definition, I think it yeah. oh, matches. That's fine. That's fine with me. The only the only thing is uh, maybe we should write it in a way which is more consistent with the others, and could be maybe new contributors of issues, just to be consistent with new contributors of all reviews, for instance, that we have above. Do you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yep. And I didn't see. I guess there's a. So the way that it's in there is pull request initiator. So right now, for instance, for so uh, for reviews of code, we have new contributors of reviews of code. 
So un understanding the, the previous discussion, maybe you, we can just say, instead of open issues, new contributors, maybe we can say new contributors of issues. And that's it. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. What, do you okay. what, do, what do you think? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think I think new contributors of issues. Um, that's pretty clear. Um, so yeah, new contributors uh, and then new contributors of issues. So the fix here would be, Matt, your correction is that open issue new contributors is what it's called on the page. That's mm -hmm. it. Yeah, okay. So if we change it to open issues, so what do you, what, what do you change, Jesus, you want to be new contributors of issues? Is that what you said? No, my, my, my command was that open issues new contributors seems to refer to from the issues that are now open, Mm -hmm. Which ones came from new contributors? Right. While the metric to be consistent with the others that we have on the same page mm -hmm. seems to be more likely which issues were contributed by new contributors in general, yes. not, not those that are open right now, but anyone and, that were open during the period. And that, that seems to be what the first line indicates as well. What is the number of persons opening a new issue for the first time? Exactly. So that's why I think that, uh, uh, as Alberto said, new contributors of issues okay. just capture that. Okay. So I, I agree with uh, both of the points that Alberto and Jesus made. The only thing I would add is when we're, when we're naming these, we should have some, uh, I think the, the focus that we're measuring, the thing that we're measuring should probably be named first for consistency. Mm -hmm. So when we're looking at it, are we are we concerned with counting the new contributors of the issues? If so, the new contributors should be first. If we're more concerned in, with issues, in the context of the, we should be. It's a good question, Kevin. In the, I'm, I opened up the community growth section of the file here, and most of the metrics have new contributors or contributors as the prefix, and the it's the community growth area. So. It looks it's, like we're trying to make new contributors the main thing. And in this case, I think you're right. Um, I, yeah. I just, uh, I just want everyone to be aware of it because it does get, uh, when we start getting a bunch of metrics in there, uh, it does get confusing on uh, uh, what the focal measurement is that we're looking at when we get multiple terms in the, uh, in the title. Okay. Uh, and that makes can, sense. In, in any case, there is a problem here because the, the focus could be both new contributors of or issues, depending on how you look at it. Um, I mean, when you're looking at activity, for instance, it is pretty clear that you're talking about issues, issues, whatever. But right now, you are talking about the community, which means, in some sense, you're talking about people. And uh, people is the new contributors part of the name. But in any case, I'm happy with any of those. As, as much as we uh, avoid using open, I'm happy with that. So if you prefer to have issues first, I'm happy with that. I think new contributors of issues, like Alberto suggested, I mean, it keeps it consistent with, with the rest of the metrics in this community growth context. Gets rid of the word open. Um, so if that's, is that amenable to everybody? Uh, yep, I think that's great. I was just uh, just pointing out that we need to be consistent on the naming. And I, uh, yeah. You're right, Kevin. Maybe we can do an, a, a second iteration on this pull request because I see that the next one right now is closed issues new contributors, which means that either we switch to new contributors of closed issues or uh, we um, name everything started with issues or whatever. So I think the purpose of this pull request was just to align the name of the metric in our list with the name of the metric yeah. in the heading, right, Matt? Uh, okay, so let, let, let's do it so this we way. Can, we can handle yeah, this second. Okay. I think we could close this one. Yeah. And then, so, uh, yeah, and, and, and then let's iterate on top of that because you are right, maybe we're entering a lot into the details, but the main purpose was just to align the names. So maybe yep. we can keep on, keep on that and uh, producing new pull request trying to make this, because I think what Kevin says is also important. So to have some consistency uh, is important. So the, the main thing is like, for example, uh, 
new contributors of issues and what was the other one? New contributors of closed issues. Yeah, that's in the next the next one. Yeah. And I think um, before you got here, Jesus, we did make the comment that when we change things in here with the metrics release coming up, we want to make sure that we create the ch changes back into the metrics repository. Yeah. And Matt suggested that we create issue. Is that right, Matt? You suggest we create issues in the metrics repository when? Yep. So, so when we changes in the focus group, just put a, an issue in the metrics repository that just alerts me and assign it to me. So, so um, is, are these two that you submitted already on your radar or should we submit issues for those in metrics? Just submit issues and I'll just double check them. Okay. Do, do you mean about moving this to the metrics repository already or? No, no, no. All I mean is if you make any name changes yeah. to any of your metrics. Okay, okay, I see, I see. In any case, as somebody suggested yesterday in the, in the general meeting, maybe we can open an issue in our repository just to check for consistency, as Kevin said, so that we can ensure that we always have issues first or new contributors first or whatever, but that we are consistent. And that's something that anybody can do. So what do you think about opening that, that issue? Just checking for consistency. Yeah. Should we open that in our repository? In the worker yeah, I, think, I, I think so. Uh, maybe another one in the metrics repository, but at least for us, I think that for all the uh, focus area that we think we are done, we should be checking this afterwards, just to make sure that the names are consistent, as Kevin suggested. Okay. So that would be a work group, GMD. Oh, I guess I opened I, I opened that issue while you were talking about it without realizing it. Okay. 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 <laughs> and then I oh, I guess that I guess I did open that automatically. Yeah, I thought I opened it in. Hmm. Okay. Fine. Just make sure I. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I guess I didn't open it. I um I, I said align names of all metrics. It's uh, names of metrics issue number 92 now and I use the example of new contributors of issues and closed issues of new contributors are not fully consistent in their naming I think I think that's the gist of what you just said as well right okay okay uh, by the way I'm sorry for being late but did you have the chance of talking about um, pull request um, 90 yes um, and we requested reviews for 90 and 91 which should be able to happen Okay, great. I, I go. I will go to them then and get merged. I would think. Okay, thank you. So, is there? Are there? I think we're through the issues and pull requests portion of the meeting now. Are there other things that we want to talk about? Not from my side. What was the outcome of the, we, we're going to do the, we've talked about the metrics release and I know we discussed it again in the meeting yesterday, but I don't, was there any, I don't recall that we reached a conclusion on how we're going to specifically release the metrics. Cause I know that, I know there were two different conversations going on. Oh, we were going to, we we're going to resolve it at the cast board meeting. Is that right? Mm -hmm. I think so. Okay. So do we, are we, Matt, do you know, are we going to try to release metrics before the chaos board meeting or are we going to wait for? We'll just wait. Board just meeting? Because, okay. Yeah, because Kevin and Georg just put out the two proposals towards versioning. Okay. For people to take a look at. All right. But it's the board meeting that we'll talk about it. Okay. I guess the only, qu the only question. It would be great if we could have a discussion about these before the board meeting so that at the board meeting we already have done all the talking. Mm -hmm. I think and the reason I'm asking again I, is because there was a desire initially to get something out release-wise prior to the board meeting. So is it 
is are we do we want to try to do some kind of release under some conditions in advance of the board meeting um we've got a couple of weeks and then make a decision about ongoing updates at the board meeting so that when we go to the leadership summit we have a as a group chaos these are the metrics that we've just released um and then we can resolve the ongoing update thing which is i think that's what's under discussion is whether the updates are sort of formalized mm -hmm. or if they're ongoing and they right. drip out. Um, I, I apologize. I wasn't at the, the, the full meeting where this was discussed. Uh, in looking through uh, proposal one, though, I, I actually I, I like proposal one. I'm curious what the uh, issues against it were. I, I don't have them. Uh, I, put the, I put the document in the chat. Okay. So the issue with proposal one is that any update on the master branch in our working group repositories will update the metric definitions. And especially Kate um, pointed out that implementations like to have stable versions that mm -hmm. don't change on them while they're implementing. Okay. So if that's the if that's the key argument, then we could still do proposal one, but just remove those markdown files into a, a release folder, right? We could do that, yes. And that would uh, that would satisfy Kate's issues. But if we move the files into a different folder, then we can just as well put them in their own repository. Let's say the metrics repository and have it unified in one location, and we don't have to spread it out across the repositories. The only reason right. proposal one proposed that is so that we do get continuous updates without additional work. There's, um, I suppose there's a potential proposal three compromise for ongoing updates where you can have it like with APIs, you can have both, you have both, you can have an unstable version and you can have a released version. Um, so that if somebody wants the latest and greatest, they can go to the unstable version, knowing that they can't trust anything that's not released. Um, But we could discuss that at the board meeting. I think my point was that we could do, we could do a release because both of these proposals are really dealing with the ongoing release. So we could do a release in advance of the leadership summit without resolving the question about how to manage ongoing releases. I think. So I, I think that we need some infrastructure for stable metrics because right now in the working group, in many cases we are in an inconsistent state, which right. is not um, let's say not really for the champion. So um, right, the, right. the idea that as I understood this is to at a given point, maybe uh, just before the board meeting, for instance, try to have a release by the working group. Mm -hmm. And then and then where to put that is something that of course we can discuss. From my point of view, that would be the metrics basically, where we have the standard or stable or whatever version of the metrics as the working group decided to do. And that should be consistent and everything. And it could be basically a matter of closing the repository for the working group and saying, okay, this version, this commit is the release. And then the, the working group can go on and it's again come back to an inconsistent state because they are moving some metrics from one place to another, for instance. Mm -hmm. That in the metrics repository, we still have the version 1.0, for instance, as it was released some weeks ago. Would it be okay to publish that on the website? Hey, yeah, that, yeah, that would be the same for me. So I don't matter. Okay. What, I, I'm just saying the metrics repository because there you can keep the the log of all the history and everything if you want. But I don't mind that being in the in the website. Yeah, in I think the website would be a better place for it, just because the repositories move pretty quickly, yeah. and the website just has this somewhat yeah. permanence to well, it. I, 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 I honestly, I don't mind it. Okay. So I would, I would add, I would add that uh, the way we work the website we always pull the information from a repository anyway. Mm -hmm. So if we're putting it on the website, we still need a stable place mm -hmm. uh, on GitHub where we can pull that markdown from. So I, I think the metrics repository would be a great place to just 
a central location that we can pull that information from. What do you think of that, Jesus? That would be fine with me as well. Uh, if we want, we can have a very specific uh, directory in the metrics repository, which would be something like a stable. Or we, or we could have a release branch. Exactly, exactly, right. So that's something like release uh, version one to zero or something. Uh, yeah, that, that's also feasible. So I, I'm, um, I think that people maintaining the, words, the website can decide about that. But from my point of view, the main point is to be sure that we can release something and call it version something, and that everybody agrees on what's that, and that's the stable version until there is a new one. Georg, what do you think of that? How does that jive with what you've been hearing? I have really a uh, hard time to understand what Jesus is saying, so if I don't um, respond to what you're saying, Jesus, I'm sorry. Oh, no, sorry, sorry me, because I um, didn't explain well. It's uh, a direct... No, it's audio. It's not how oh. you explain it, just audio wise. I have a hard time understanding it. So essentially, I, I'll try to sum it up. So the to have the end product would be on the web page um, a representation of this the released metrics. So that's kind of the end the end product. Um, the metrics the web page would draw from a branch in the metrics repository called release or something like that. Or an specific unit, because we can say as of today that, that the thing is stable. And we try to do that for a certain time frame. So for instance, for the next board meeting or whatever. And all the working groups try to have a specific unit that we can say this is our release. And that would be in the website somehow. So I don't mind if it is by copying to the metric repository or if it is pulled directly from the uh, working group repository or whatever. But what I'm just trying to capture is the idea that uh, at least in the case of the GMB working group, in many cases, metrics are inconsistent. So for instance, right now, some of the metrics may not have the right name, some of the files that, that don't correspond with the link and stuff like that. Uh, it's our work to ensure at some point this is right now stable in the sense that this is what we intended to uh, give us a product, as, 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 as Matt said, this is the product, let's say, and this is an specific community. And for that, probably at some point in the next few weeks, we need to say, well, now we need to work the work release, which basically means let's bring this right which would be that we, we should be fixing it in the in i think in this case in the two focus areas that yeah. you kind of have going right now right exactly, exactly. And, and, and we can say the only directory so the only focus areas that are really for release are this and this. Our, our code development and whatever the other one is yeah exactly exactly and, okay. that would mean, and that would mean that all the metrics for that we can meet to having them in an unstable state by such and such date. But I don't know if that's more clear now, Joe. So the issue that I'm understanding will have is to merge together the work from the working groups to put them back into a, the metrics repository. Um, the, the idea with the branch that just separates out where the release is happening. I think GitHub has an re actual release feature, but we can tag release. Mm -hmm, it does. And if we do that, then we don't even need to um, have a separate branch. We just tag a commit as the release commit, and then we from that commit to the website. They would avoid using branches because merging branches with text is not always so easy. So I rather prefer what you say, having a release in GitHub, which is basically lovely non specific to me, as this is a release. So can I can I make a comment here? At this point, the the GMD working group has basically two focus areas that are moving towards release. Mm -hmm. um, the DNI working group has, I'll just say four, three or four. Georg, you can nod. Yeah, yes. I don't know the number, but yeah, you know something along those lines of 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 um, release oriented or release focus groups that would potentially have releases. 
so that's that's a total of about five uh, focus areas across the two working groups. Mm -hmm. So within the fo within the focus areas, there's usually a grand total of anywhere from say five to seven metrics. So we're talking about like 35 metrics total right now, mm -hmm. give or plus or minus. Yeah, yeah. It's a nice it's not, number of metrics, actually. It's, it's not. It's not that many, and so at this point, to me, um, engineering a technical way to get these on the websites seems to be a bit overkill. It would almost be. You're talking to Matt. What do you think we're going to talk about? <laughs> technical solutions? Come on. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why we need to. <laughs> spend all this time on branches and yeah. you know, tagging really it's just it's really just about to me pinging Kevin and just saying hey these focus groups are can be put on the web page I mean in my in my own mind it's it's more it's mostly about making sure that we know that where is the place that when we put it there people are gonna think it's done that and that's the and website then you, it, yeah. you can, then you can work on your focus area, even if it goes up to the website today, <laughs> you could rework those focus areas tomorrow. Who cares? Just mm -hmm. keep working in there. Just keep doing the work that you do, but the, the web page is the stable spot. And to me right now, just ha having Kevin if managing the website spend a, like probably a couple hours creating the page the first time through and then maybe like 30 minutes update, updating on a new release. It's just not that much time. So if we go that route, we don't even need to move the metrics anywhere. Mm -hmm. We just determine one commit that is the release commit. And Kevin just pulls the markdown from that commit. Yes. Not the most up-to-date version, just from that date. <clears throat> exactly. That's way, I think that's way easier. This is just for the, this is for the, uh, the focus area pages or, or the individual metrics? Well, you would end up showing the focus areas with the individual metrics in them, I think. I mean, we could talk about what actually gets displayed. I mean, like the, the detail, the detail for the metrics. Yeah. Uh, I think it should be both because uh, both should be related. Yeah, I agree. And, and I think when we when we release the metrics, the detailed pages are the things that need to be flushed out and we need to kind of all feel confident that these are, I think the most, the thing we need to feel most confident about or discuss is for the things that get released, we're sure that fundamentally they're not gonna change. Like maybe they'll be detailed out or have some nits added to them, but that the definition of the thing that we're all clear about and good on, because if we change the definition of the thing later, that's what's gonna cause problems downstream i think well uh, right now maybe we could just pull manually the um, focus area files and the metrics files for those for the first release because that's going to be a handful mm -hmm. of metrics yeah and after that if the procedure works from the point of view of people are happy with the results we can try to automate for the next one because automating is not going to be difficult you just parsing the focus area files, finding the names of the files for the metric, and automatically grabbing them and uploading to the website or wherever. So it's not that difficult. Mm -hmm. But for the first one, since we are not completely sure of the result, if people are going to be uh, happy enough with the product, let's say, maybe we can do it manually, not invest in automation, see whether that works. And if it works for the next release, we try to automate it. What do you think? I agree. I think I think so, that strategy works. Going going back to the original question that Sean posed, um, releasing metrics before the leadership summit. There are many benefits to it, and I think if we go the the route that we just talked about, where Kevin just points to a commit version of the metrics then we don't need to build any technical infrastructure right now. And we can talk at the governing board meeting about changing that, but we have a minimal viable product and released before the big meeting. Yes, I, I totally agree with that. And That's it would be something thing, to talk yeah. towards, which is helpful. I think right, right. now we kind of have nothing. We're just That's, talking. 
Yep. Exactly. That's the thing that I think was in, that was important from my, that's why I brought up the, can we release something? Cause really the these proposals are dealing with the future releases and the first release, we could just decide when we're going to do that. And if it's before the meeting, I do think it gives us something like you said, Matt, concrete to discuss with other people who are not involved in chaos. And it's something we can point them to mm-hmm. um, as evidence well, of progress since the last leadership yeah. summit, which I think is a win as well. <laughs> if you want formally, what we should do is to release the release candidate just before the meeting, and in the board we can formally approve it as this is version in Weber. So it could be like before the, the summit, we release version one to release candidate one. And uh, I'm pretty much sure that that's going to be a separate assignment, but still we can say during the, during the summit, if you have any comment, you are right in the right moment because we are posting and this is going to be a post. Exactly. It's, it's a bit more inclusive. In, if there are major issues, we could even, even delay the release. But I'm, I'm sure that that's not going to happen. But yeah. it's still, it's a way of letting the community now. This is the proposal by the working groups. But mm-hmm. still, if you have any main concern, we can just have into account because this is just the release candidate. Mm-hmm. What do you think? I, I, I like that the release candidate gives us something to point to without, and it gives the board uh, something to reference in the meeting that's concrete where we can use yeah, that to make decisions. Basically the board, the board job would be to either approve it based on the feedback from everybody going to the summit and mailing list and whatever, or say there are major concerns, we still need to wait a while, to wait for a while until we can release. And then so, then, so then the action items for the work groups would be um, when you believe a focus area is ready for release sometime between now and March 12th, you know, the start of the open source leadership summit, mm-hmm. uh, you need to let Kevin know what those mm-hmm. are. Yeah. And then yeah. I would say the same for the DNI group, Georg. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm basically saying this is the release candidate from the point of view of the working group. Correct. Okay. Kevin would upload to the website as release candidate. Yep. And when the board meeting, the board decides whether this converts into the release. Correct. It gives us something to speak towards. Yeah. Yep. And then we, our official release date will be March 12th. How about that? This, the first day of the Open Source Leadership Summit. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. So I guess I would mean if we back that up to like, I guess March 6th would be the meeting um, in this group where we would want to finalize the pre- um, leadership summit list of metrics. Yep. Okay. Focus, area. my wife's Focus areas and metrics. I'll remember that now. Okay. In, in any case, we need to propose this for the full group, for the full chaos group, so that everybody agrees. Because yep. it's involved for yeah. the work. Right? Then D and I would follow the same thing in the yeah. the Land of Misfit Toys Working Group. Common. Call it. common, common. I knew it wasn't core, and I couldn't remember it. Common. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna write that on my computer monitor so I can remember it's common. Okay, so I added proposal three based on what we've been talking about. So if you go back to the document Kevin posted in the chat, if you could go down and make sure that we all agree on what I synthesized, and if I misunderstood something then now is the time to correct it. Well, the question, did, are we or are we not? And it doesn't really matter to me. I just want to know, are we going to tag a release? Like you, so when it says determine a release using using commit tags, okay. Well, it's optional. We don't have to, but I think it makes sense to tag the commit. So yeah, that I'm, I'm writing that because it's easy. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it's basically taking a given to me. I think, I mean, we can make it a part of the proposal because that, that makes it more concrete. What does it mean to um, dedicate a specific commit? Yeah, I agree. Can you be clear on what you mean by, by metric name? Is that the detail metric, or is that is that the focus area? Uh, we 
we can say the focus area file and the metric file, the metric files reference it for that in that focus area file. So that, 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 that's very specific. This is in the wrong spot. I'm sorry. Okay, but it, it will be the, the list of the focus area files, I think, and the list of the metric files linked from those focus area files. Does so when you the when you say each metric gets its own web page, does that mean each focus area gets its own web page? Yeah. Each yeah. detail metric gets its own web page? Exactly. So I imagine one central web page that is slash metrics, where we have the list of all the focus areas, and underneath the focus areas, we have the names of the metrics, which link to the detail pages. And then okay. each metric detail page is its own page. So the focus areas themselves do not get their own pages because they're already included in the slash metrics landing list page. But yep. I, I agree. I think the main metrics page is the, focus, the five focus areas from the different working groups. I think I'm just repeating what you said, Georg. Wait a minute. The, yep. the main metrics page, does it list the I'm working sorry, the, the, the main the the slash what is it slash metrics slash metrics is it's the five the first level heading is the names of the five focus areas or maybe the first level heading is gmd and dni maybe maybe there can be the, so those are headings and then the focus areas are listed underneath those headings and then right. the, those link to focus area pages which list the metrics nope. Nope. no 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 so let me just, so okay. the top level heading is growth, maturity, and decline, and diversity and inclusion. That's the first level heading. The second level heading under GMB is going to be the names of the two focus areas. And then underneath those, those second level headings will simply be the table, I think, that you have on your repository pages right now. That's it. So that's, this is the first page. Do you are thinking about linking to the uh, repository pages or a copy of the repository pages? So the, the detailed metrics are going to be linked. Is that going to be not on the website? The detailed metrics are going to be back in the repos? So then, so then within the tables, you can link on the details. Mm -hmm. Each one of the metrics would obviously have an underlying detail page. And that detail page is its own page on the website. Okay. So would that page be derived from uh, the tagged released version of commits for those pages in the metrics repository? Correct. Okay. Or, or in your respective, in the, in working, the respective work group. The working group of the page. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, uh, but are we going to uh, still continue to try to align the working group and the metric repositories in this? So when we do a release, it would seem to me that we would want to update not only the working group repositories and the website, but also the main metrics repository. Um, like that would be part of a release. Yes, exactly. Well, the, the metric repository, I can just, I can keep that aligned okay. on an ongoing basis. That's, that's not a big deal. But when the, when you release quarterly, say, I'll just pick a time frame, then yes, it's quite possible that that main metrics page will be updated because you've added a new focus area or you've added new metrics. And it's also possible that the detail page for one of the metrics will be updated. But Matt, let me understand the current focus area file, how that's going to be um, uploaded to the website, how that's going to be found in the website. Currently, it will be manually done. I think no, I'm, not, I'm not talking about how to upgrade, but once we have the product, we have this main page with all the links to the focus area and the different headings for the working group. And those links are going to be to the files with the focus area information right now? It, no, it'll be with the detail page. Let me try to put it into this, this document. Yes, please. We have so here. I already put at the bottom a sample metrics landing page. Oh, did you? Yes, exactly. That's exactly it. So what I mean is I don't, I don't see how in the schema can we find the focus area file, the focus area description? It does not. Okay, so is the focus area files stay in the repository and have nothing to do with the release. We create a new uh, list 
I think in this scenario, I would manually create this uh, this landing page here. So That's I would manually. Why, why, my question is, why would we want to avoid having the Pocosaria files? Because there is a lot of context in those files right now. Are you talking about the detail page? I'm talking about the focus area for uh, code development, for instance. That's a file where you have the description of the, of the focus area, the questions, the goals. So are we, yeah, I you think- I posted in the chat, Jesus, are you talking about so, the focus area page, like the one that I just posted in the chat? Yeah. Oh. Exactly. Yeah. We could, we so, could include that. So do you see what I'm doing in the, Page. Where would I? Uh, At the bottom of that that link of the proposed changes. Mm -hmm. Do you see that, Jesus? Yeah, I'm seeing. I'm looking at. I, I click the. I cl is it Georg's link? What link am I looking at? The one that Kevin sent. Oh, okay. Right. I was okay. I was on that page. And I... Whatever your structure is. But basically, what you are doing is um, trying to extract information from the focus area uh, page, right? Or focus area file, and convert that into that instead of uh, just importing the focus area page, right? Yeah, so the, the, the trick is, is that we want to have a stable release, but at the same time, still allow the working groups to work on a daily basis. So no, that, that's fine. Uh, I, I think that we are not understanding each other. So I completely share that. My, my only concern was whether this information that you are writing there is going to be exactly what we have in the current focus area file, just by copying the file and uploading it to the website, or we are going to have some kind of re-elaboration of it, which is what you are doing right now in the document. Yep, so what will be on that page? I'm, I'm, happy, I'm happy with both things. Yep. But re-elaborating it seems a bit too an overkill because all of this we already have in the in the focus area file. But I don't mind. We can try this way. Yep. So I, yep. I think. Yep. Okay. So whatever. So for example, in the GMD focus area, community growth, the goal. Somebody just put the goal in there. Identify size project community. What what the text that will be on that landing page is whatever the text is on that focus area page at the, the date that you tell Kevin to grab it. That's it. And if you choose to change it the next day, great, but it doesn't change on the website. Okay, I was, I was thinking more like uh, grabbing the, 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 the focus area web page as happy as it is now and just linking to it. But I'm happy if you prefer to do it this way, that's fine. Well, this, this, maybe this can be a discussion at the board too. So I mean, this. No, I, I don't mind. It's a, it's a all up of the detail. It's just the detail. So we can try whatever you want yeah. this way, okay. and then for the next one, decide where it makes. makes okay. Sense. So I'm only worried about the extra work, which is not that much, but maybe it's a bit unnecessary. That's yeah, I it. think once we get it set up, at least for the time being, it's not going to be a ton of work. Okay. But, that's fine. but you might that's, be right, and this was about fine. my point of not over automating the process. Yeah, yeah. but, but let, let's try this way, and, and then we can check. What, what's the diff what's the difference in information that we would grab between this way and just grabbing the document itself no it, it's quite similar yeah. because yeah. We, we are we are still have the table in the in the focus area but it's structured in a different way so um, the difference is that in our release landing page we will not have all of the metrics that are in the focus areas because only some of them will be tagged. So it will be a shorter list. And the link has to point to the website, not to the working document in the repository. So we need a different list for the released metrics from the focus area pages in the repository. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Let's let, let's try this way, and then after release, we can discuss if needed. And if it if it works, I'm more than happy. You're muted, Matt. Matt. I agree, because then we can start fine. We can talk about then fine tuning it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. We, we need to automate so it. It's right. more important to have the content than than the way to, to upload it. So let, let's exactly. try. I think so too. Okay. okay. Fine. 
Yeah, I need to move on to another meeting. So yeah, I guess I've been for five else? minutes for the first time ever. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have something else to discuss with your husband? I think that's enough. We should stop even if there is something else. <laughs> I'm good. Well, all right. All right. Okay. All right. Well, See you all later. Bye. 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 Bye.